Oh, praise God. We're right here. Yeah, we're right here. Hey, there you go. You got it, man. That's what I wanted you to say. I will have some handouts here in a few minutes. And uh, just uh, just hold on to them. Anyway. We already handed them out. Oh, you did? All of those? Until you had the colored ones. Okay, let me, let me have those. <laughs> awesome. We were ahead of oh, you. Know what? Oh, <laughs> great. Nita. Okay, good. I like those. Anyway, God is good. Happy, happy, happy. Are we, let me know. We're on. Okay, well, happy Sunday morning to you. And I'm very... Christmas Eve? No, let's just to say Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, and we want to welcome you, and we want to welcome all you that are tuning in through audio or uh, video, and we are the New Beginnings Church of the Big Band in Marfa, Texas, and we welcome you, and everybody said, Amen. 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 All right, praise God. So anyway, prepare yourselves to receive. He always wants to bless us. He always yeah. wants to bless us, and we have a part, and we're going to be teaching this come uh, the new year. We have a part. We need to be ready to receive what he has for us. Okay. We're always wanting to grow and he wants to grow us. And he, we want to mature. We don't want to stay babes. Amen? So we want to grow in him all the time. Amen? We don't want to stay the same. Just like little children, those little children are going to grow. <laughs> Mom says, Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Yes. So we want to grow also. We don't want to be spiritual babies all our life. That's because right. the enemy's busy, the enemy's for real. It's things are getting harder. It's going to get harder before it gets yes. softer, you know. So we got to tell you the truth, uh -huh. but we have to do our part. We got to get the word in us so the word can come out of us. We got to get the word in us so that the faith can grow in us and get all the fear out of us. Uh -huh. We're not called to be weaklings. We're not called to be fearful. We're called to be children of God. Amen. And the Bible says we can do all things all through things. Christ who strengthens us. Amen. So we got to know these things and take action and say, Lord, here I am. You have great plans for me and I want to do these things that you've called me to be. Amen. We're fighting a defeated foe and he uses your mind. Amen. The battlefield is the mind. Yes, and we're fighting a spiritual battle. You cannot win this battle in the flesh. You got to get in the spirit. You got Amen. to get in the word. Get the word in so the word can come out. You know, last week we talked about um, no deposit, no return. Mm -hmm. But you make deposits, you can go and withdraw and take out. We must make deposits constantly, daily, of the word in us so the word can come out. Mm -hmm. When you go to reach, you know, you're not on empty. You know, you keep your car full of gas. So when you need to go somewhere, <laughs> you can go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because if it's empty, you ain't going anywhere. That's right. Beautiful car, beautiful truck, beautiful vehicle. <laughs> but if you don't have fuel in it, you it ain't, ain't going anywhere. Ain't going so listen, you're an awesome, beautiful child of God. But if you don't put the fuel in there, guess what? The enemy's going to have you. That's right. The enemy's going to have you. And why confess to be a Christian if you're going to live a defeated life. All right, now. He don't want you to live a defeated life. Mm -hmm. He wants you to be uh, a winner. He wants you to be a champion. And he wants you to take your God-given authority he's given you so that you can put the enemy to run. He says, submit yourself to God. Mm -hmm. Resist the devil. And he will flee. flee from you. Amen. Amen. Woo, we're not even in the lesson yet. I'm already excited. Well, <laughs> hallelujah. What's my part? You have a part. We're in this game of life. Yes. Everybody understands games. Everybody's thinking, you know, hey, hurry up, Pastor, because uh, there's some great games coming on. <laughs> I want to be there. Well, this game yeah. of life, you know, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't get into the word, uh -huh. this game of life is gonna eat you up. Yes, it will. Amen. Because the enemy's busy. The enemy is for real. We need to be for real. We gotta stop pretending. We want to close this year with the bang. Yes, amen. <laughs> and open up with the bang. Yeah. And maintain that throughout the year, you know. We don't have to just slow down and say, well, you know, I've been to church uh, a couple of times this year. <laughs> we need to practice coming to church all the time. All the time. And fellowshipping with him on a on a constant, on a daily basis. Yes. Not just once in a while. Amen. amen? So we're not just in a uh, comfy mood. <laughs> we want to get 
busy for him. Amen. He was busy for us. We're going to talk today about the Christmas message, the Christmas story. <laughs> you know, God so loved the world. He didn't like having to lose us. He wanted us back. So he talked to his son and told his son, son, I'm going to send you down and you're going to bring my people back to me. That's Jose. <laughs> and Jesus says, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, he could have backed out and says, I like it here. <laughs> you know, when God called you and said, you know, <laughs> it's okay, but uh, I like what I'm doing right now. Uh -huh. I don't want to change. He's got great plans for you. Yes. None of them include defeat. That's right. But we start reasoning. And like Moses, you call the wrong person. You call the wrong one. I cannot do that. You see, we got to get those worldly mindsets out of us because he says you can do all things through him. And now we're telling him we can. Who knows you better? He does. Yes, he does. Amen. So you got to tune into him and stay connected to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because he is our source. Amen. So I encourage you hear the word. Mm -hmm. Let the word come and bless you, encourage you, mm -hmm. and correct you. Because yes. some of some of us need correction, especially uh, <clears throat> somebody over here. <laughs> we all need correction. <laughs> we all could use some correction. Amen. Uh, and, uh, I'll stay silent for now. <laughs> I don't want to incriminate myself. <laughs> <laughs> it wants to change us. Because if you're going the wrong way, it's time to turn around and go the right uh -huh. way. Yeah. That's Amen? right. Or maybe we're just heading the wrong way with the partners that we're hanging out with. Mm -hmm. Or maybe we're hanging out with the wrong uh, worldly. Come on now. We're hanging out with the world too much. We're letting the world too much in us. Mm -hmm. we got to get into Him Amen. and allow Him to Come walk with us. He said He walks with us. He never leaves us nor forsakes yeah, us. Right. So why are we seeking other things besides Him? Amen. We need him personally because the enemy's busy. We have to be busy. So be blessed, be encouraged, and be changed. Amen. Amen. And sometimes we can use correction. I myself need correction all the time. Amen. So praise God. Well, before we get too far ahead, grab your swords, grab your Bibles, and let's say it with me now. Say it like you mean the church. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can, I can do what it says I can do. Today, Today I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind's alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. I want to change. Amen. you got to tell yourself that on a daily basis. I want to change. Amen. And go to the next. The next one says, Merry Christmas. <laughs> you notice up here, the world says, Xmas. Uh -huh. The Lord says, Happy Holidays. Uh -huh. <laughs> they don't say uh, Resurrection Sunday. They don't say Christmas. They say, <coughs> Happy Holidays, because we don't want to hurt anybody. How about Happy uh, Birthday? Happy Birthday? Yeah, happy Birthday, Jesus. Happy Birthday, Jesus. Well, we're, we're, we're going to get there. I know she already preached half my message. <laughs> He's the reason for the season. <laughs> Merry Christmas. It has Christ. It says, Christ must. Christ, Christ, uh -huh. right. Christ must be a part of me. Yes. Christ must be a part of you. Amen. That's Amen. Good. We got to let him. See, you got to write this down. Some of yes. these things, I, I didn't, I didn't yes. say it, but if you have a real pretty Bible that you never marked on, throw it away. Get another one. Or give it away. It's perfect. <laughs> Highlight it. Mark it. Uh -huh. Scratch on it. Yeah. Take I off of there and just put Jose. Mm -hmm. Or put your name on there. Make it, it's my Bible. I want to personalize it. Put my yeah. name on there. Highlight it. Underline it. Whatever you must do. Make yeah. it. It's mine. Yeah. You know, somebody finds it. Yeah, no problem. Says, guess what? I found your Bible. It's It's got your name all over it. Mm -hmm. I praise God. <laughs> but they find a perfect Bible. And uh, <laughs> says, I'll just keep it. <laughs> But that's good too because you know you, you want to bless somebody. Yes. So that's not a problem. Amen. Go to the next one. Thank you, Lord. Haha. Uh -huh. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from yes. their sins. Matthew Amen. 1 21. We're going to use scripture as we go. May the miracle of Christmas.
touch your life. Yes. Don't let nobody come and change your mind. You know, when you're set and when you have a good foundation, mm -hmm. you know, when you build a house, first thing you do is what? Mm -hmm. Come on, builders. Yeah. Who's my builders Put here? Put a foundation You get a good foundation. There you yeah. go. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Thank you, sister. <laughs> you, you have a good foundation. Why? Because you don't want to go anywhere. You want to be set. So we need a good foundation in him. <laughs> we need a good foundation in his word. Amen? Amen. So praise God. Oh, before I forget, uh, remember, a church alive is worth, is worth the, the drive. drive. Rusty brought it to my attention. He says, a church alive is worth the walk. Because he lives across the street. So he walks over. <laughs> a church alive is worth the walk. So praise God. Yes. Woo! Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, we're going to be going over your handouts here in a few minutes. But we're going to be talking about a gift that takes a lifetime to unwrap. And kind of go with me as I, as I read this. Today we're getting close to, of course, a few days before we celebrate uh, uh, Christmas. Waiting with anticipation to see what gifts we got. I remember my days when I'd go under the tree and shake, shake the box, pick the box up, listen to it. Uh, didn't have anything like this. Because I would have pulled it out. <laughs> but anyway, with great anticipation, yeah. many gifts under the tree are wrapped beautifully. Mm -hmm. Beautifully wrapped. If you ever want one wrapped, come see Victoria. Oh, you're, she's you're, you're awesome. You're wearing me out. I don't know what you're <laughs> it must have been your bag. And decorated <laughs> with bows and beautiful and ribbons. And glitter. There's always, always, always yes. excitement about unwrapping uh -huh. a gift. You know, it takes forever to wrap it up, but I can unwrap it in a heartbeat. <laughs> I can get to it quickly. Amen? Amen. The sad part is this. There seems to be a letdown when the wrap is all done. Either you got what you wanted, you didn't get what you wanted. But then the anticipation and all the excitement is gone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whew. I bet you most of you don't remember what you got last Christmas. <laughs> oh God. I see the minds working. <laughs> Was there a Christmas? <laughs> Can you explain yes. Christmas in a few words? Yes. Amen. Christ must Christ must be in me. Christ must be a part of me. John 3.16. John 3.16, uh, go to number, I think it's the next one. Or, yeah, there we go. For God so loved the what? The world. Us. For God so loved his people. For God so loved the world that he what? He yeah. gave, he sacrificed his one and only son, that whoever believeth in him shall not perish, but what? Have eternal, 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 or everlasting life. Amen. Amen. He did it for us. So he gave his best. We must give our best. Amen. Amen. When you get up and you spend time with him and say, Lord, I need you. I'm going out into this world. You know, the only time we thank him is on Fridays. We say, oh, thank oh. God it's Friday. Yeah. We don't say, thank God it's Monday. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I can't wait to go to work. <laughs> Just be excited, amen. So John three sixteen, for God so loved the world. Yes. No one could ever outdo what God has done. That's right. No one could ever outgive or give the greatest gift that God gave. Amen. Yes. Let me see the next slide. It says the greatest Christmas gift ever given wasn't placed under the tree. He was placed on a tree. Oh boy. And his name is Jesus. Yes. It's about a tree, but he wasn't placed under the tree. Mm. He was placed on the tree. Amen. Amen. This is awesome. Mm. Amen. Now we know on a daily basis what he's done for us. So we can give ourselves back to him. And Lord, thank you so much. The real gift of Christmas, Jesus, and how wonderful it is to unwrap it 
not just once a year, mm -hmm. but on a daily basis as we yeah. live, we unwrap a little more. You know, he reveals something else to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, have you ever read the scripture? Yeah. And it meant something to you at that oh, time? Yeah. And as you grow, all of a sudden, <laughs> it gives you a little more unwrapping of what that scripture meant. I said, wow, I never saw it that way. Well, at the time, you weren't there. Mm -hmm. But now you're at the point where you can understand and unwrap this other part to it. And you see another part of him. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Come on. I'm preaching ready. Amen. 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 So Jesus is the real reason for the season. Yes, Pastor he Pat. is. Yes, he is. <laughs> a gift that takes a lifetime to unwrap. That's right. And of course, we're using uh, John uh, 3.16 as our text. I want all, all of us to see that God was the first to give. Amen. Amen. And you can see, you can go to your... Uh, well, who passed those things out anyway? <laughs> who passed what out? What yeah, how come, I, how come I only got a white one? <laughs> oh, well. You late. Oh, late. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You're late. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, passes oh, no. right. Live to what? Oh, thank you. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to give him a present now. Live to what? Live to what? Live to give. You know what? Don't make little paper planes. Don't water it up and throw it away. All right. we, need, we, we need to grow from this. Amen. John 3.16. Right. God showed his, <laughs> listen, God showed his agape love. Yes, what's, what's agape love? The God kind of love. The God kind of faith. Unconditional love. Yes. Amen. Unconditional love. How? How did he show it? He sacrificed his only son. Yes. I mean, what parent would do that? No. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Today is your day to give. Mm -hmm. I know we we have this mindset. Anytime give, oh, anytime oh, give man. this mention, first thing oh. you think is, I ain't got no money. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to give. Mm -hmm. So the, the second lesson, uh, sentence says, even if your bank account is at what? Zero. Mm -hmm. Finances are not the only thing That's right. believers have to give. Believers must have more to give. And I just put a few scriptures there for you, so that you can see John three sixteen, mm -hmm. Luke six thirty eight says under that says you can give, and I want you to know it's more blessed to give than to receive, mm -hmm. and it's also givers live longer. So <laughs> give of yourself. Just a few things Praise here, God. and there's more. You can you can add to this list. You know, yeah. add add to it. Bring it to me. I want to see it. Mm -hmm. Show me. Okay? That's your homework. <laughs> but you can get what? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, <laughs> goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Yeah. There's not too many kind words out there anymore. Mm. You're out there. Oh, yeah. There's a fight going on all the time. Yeah. There's rays going on. There's all kind of th things happening. And it's not nice. You know, when you try to be nice to somebody, <laughs> you prepare yourself before him to be Christ-like. Be his imitator on earth. Take his image. Amen. It takes more of a man, a woman, <laughs> believer, to go out there and be nice to somebody that's not too nice to you. Mm. It happened to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Since they've done these things to me, they're going to do it to you. Mm -hmm. That's not a perfect world out there. No. It's a lost world. Yes. And I'm coming out there, and you're coming out there, and we're going out in our mission fields, mm -hmm. and we got to minister to these people. What? Give up yourself. Give up your time. Give up your heart. Yes. Give your compassion. Yes. Give up your emotion. Give out good thoughts. Give out a thank you. All right. You know, I open her door or help her as much as I can. I say thank you as much as I can. I'm kind as much as I can. And I never get any response from the folks out there. And sometimes I do, but guess what? They may not say thank you. And they may not, they may not be nice. Sometimes, well, never mind. <laughs> Give a kind word. Yeah. Sometimes you give something a kind word when people are ugly to you. 
Yeah. Or I greeted somebody one day and they never, they saw me face to face and they never said a word to me. Mm -hmm. I said, praise God. <laughs> I said, just let these kind words take root in your heart. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Have a cheerful attitude. Whew, hallelujah. What's that? <laughs> Give appreciation, give encouragement. Yes. You know, He wants us to do these things. When you go to somebody and say, you know, God loves you. Mm -hmm. I encourage you. You can make it, sister. You can make it. Better. Give happiness. Give hope. Give a prayer. Yes. You know, I'm going to pray for you. Mm -hmm. Don't say that and walk away and never pray. We can pray right here. Mm -hmm. You know, when they discuss what they've done and discuss ugly things in public mm -hmm. and you're child is hearing this and you're hearing this they don't mind discussing it in public mm -mm. so why can't i just say you let me pray for you right now god wants mm -hmm. to heal you right now god wants yes. to touch you right now amen. amen he wants to do something for you right now yes so guess what whoever heard this is going to take root in their heart mm -hmm. say wow you know that's 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 god god kind of love amen yes. hallelujah Woo, hallelujah praise god i'm excited I'm excited. How did you get back over here? <laughs> <laughs> you walked. He wants us to see on a daily basis. He wants us to see on a daily basis. When Jesus came, he gave us all this. First of all, he gave He was an instant gift. Mm -hmm. We're not going to read this, but you can, you can mark this down. Luke 2, 1 through 20. Of course, it goes through the birth of Jesus. Luke 4, uh, chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. We're talking about eternal gift. Eternal gift. In verses 6 and 7, I'm going to read them to you. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. And yes. verse 7 says, she gave birth to her first child, a son, wrapped in snuggly and little strips of cloth. Or the Bible says in King James, swaddling clothes. Yeah. And they laid him in a manger. Why? Because there was no... Lodging available or no room in the inn. Mm -hmm. Is there room in your heart? For you? mm -hmm. We must open ourselves to it. Yes. Amen. We're thinking about a hotel or a manger. Mm -hmm. A hotel says, we have no room for you. Mm -hmm. It's time we stop saying there's no room for you mm -hmm. and open up ourselves and say, Lord, come in. Be my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Those of you that are listening by audio or video, if you haven't accepted him, all you have to do is say it. Lord, I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. This Christmas, before Christmas, I want to receive you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Yes. Go find you a church that's teaching the Word of God. That believes in the Lord Jesus. And mm -hmm. preaching the Word of God. Amen. And just go in there and get, a, get you a good, solid foundation. Mm -hmm. Amen. And start growing and maturing in the things of God. A manger, you know what a manger is? A manger is a place where you go feed the animals. <laughs> and that's where Jesus went. And that's where Jesus was born, you know. I hate to tell you where I was born. I was born at home. <laughs> we were too far from hospital, so. <laughs> anyway, I think everybody in, in Redford was born in, uh, in home. home. <laughs> <laughs> because of the birth of Jesus and because of this life, now exists in me. We all have in, we have instantly received a gift of life. All you need to do is put, to have this gift of eternal life mm -hmm. is receiving it as your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And this this life is yours. This this instant this life yes. of eternity yes. is is yours. Amen. Mm -hmm. Matthew 1, 20, 21 and twenty three. I'll read it to you from the Good News translation. And she will have a son, and you will. Name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Mm. 22. And now all this happened in order to make uh, come true what the Lord has said through the prophet. In verse 23 it says, The virgin will become pregnant and have a son, and he will be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. Mm. Amen. So this yeah. instant gift of God promised. To all who would ask for it. You know, a lot of people don't know salvation is a free gift. Yes, Jesus yes. was crucified and God earned our salvation. Amen. We have salvation and salvation is free. And all you have to do is receive it. You know, just like 
Well, I can tell you, Victoria gave me this. She blessed me with this. And she passed it on to me. And I took it. And I received it. It's a free gift. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Victoria. You're welcome. Same thing with the gift of salvation. Mm -hmm. It's free. All you have to do is receive it. But you have to take it. And you have to <coughs> confess it with your mouth. Mm -hmm. Amen. We'll get to that scripture here in a few minutes. Romans 10, 9 and 10 says, If you, and you can scratch that you out of there and put your name there. If Jose confess with his mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in his heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Jose will be saved. saved. Yes. Okay? Didn't say you have to go through 20 steps of doing whatever. Uh -huh. Well, so-and-so says you got to go through 20 steps. Mm -hmm. How what? <laughs> That's not what my Bible says. If it's not scriptural, Forget about what so and so said. That's right. <laughs> and verse uh, ten says, "For it is with it is by believing in your heart, mm -hmm. talking about spirit, okay, not talking about your physical heart that's pumping blood. Mm -hmm. For it is by believing in your spirit that you are made right with God, and it is by confessing with your mouth Amen. that you are saved. Yes. So you have to confess it with your mouth. Yes, I can't confess salvation for you." That's right. You have to confess it yourself. You know? When that robber or crook or whatever was crucified with Jesus and he recognized Jesus and says, Jesus, I recognize who you are. Jesus says, today you'll be with me in paradise. He confessed, I know who you are. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. He says, today you'll be with me in paradise. So you don't know when people are in a deathbed or maybe... Right before they died, you know, it could have been a criminal all their lives. And if they called on the name of Jesus, who are we to say, well, <laughs> you can't be saved. Because mm -hmm. you've done so many other things. Mm -hmm. He says he'll forgive you. You will be saved. You confess him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Yeah. So, I don't want to hear no, uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> John 1, 12 says that you live in translation. But to all who believed in him and accept him, he gave the right to become children of God. Yes. Not only was this gift an instant gift, but it was an unwrapping gift mm -hmm. of swaddling. It takes a lifetime to unwrap. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to know everything about Jesus the first time. It's going to take a lifetime of walking with Him. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a lifetime of relationship with Him. Mm -hmm. When you have a relationship, you know Him. He already knows you. But He wants you. He wants to hang out with you. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So if we're not knowing him, that means we're walking away from him. Because mm -hmm. he never walks away from you. Mm -hmm. So he's there with you. But you know what? <coughs> Even if you walk away, when you ask forgiveness, you can turn around and continue to walk with him. And continue to do what he's called you to do. He has a special calling. He has a calling for you. Mm -hmm. So whatever that calling is, when you say, Lord, I'm sorry, I sin against you. Turn around. Get back to what he's calling you to do. If you don't know, ask him. Mm -hmm. He'll tell you. <laughs> Praise mm -hmm. God. Um, Amen. Some of you, some of you uh, are familiar with uh, the scripture break that I put on uh, Facebook on a daily basis. I'm going to read you a couple. Mm -hmm. This kind of applies. I've been doing uh, one from the 20th to the 25th, I'm going to do one tomorrow about Christmas. And this is today. It says, come to, come to the Father as a child. It is, is there anything more exciting than being a child on Christmas morning? And yet, this is what God asks of us each day. To change and become more like a child. Not just on Christmas, but on a on each day approaching God as father, as a child, with excitement, anticipation of his goodness, humbly trusting him that every need will be met and every care will be under his control. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the one yesterday was a Christmas candle. What's the Christmas candle God was doing with this one with me? It says Christmas candle, we are like Christmas candles that hold a flame, burning bright with the light of Christ. You're that lighthouse out there in the lost world. You've got this light. You've got Jesus. We softly give ourselves away. 
worshiping him, serving him, that we might become less and less, and he might become greater and brighter through us. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. More of him and less of God, less of me. He increases, I decrease. Hallelujah. Ain't it awesome? Yes. <laughs> Just some spiritual nuggets. It's a scriptural break that you read on there. And this is this is awesome. But this is about us. It takes a lifetime to unwrap this gift. And we're not going to finish all this today. And it, no amens. <laughs> I shocked you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when Jesus was born the day in Bethlehem, it was just the beginning mm. of the gift unwrapping. He came wrapped in swaddling clothes. Yes. A gift for, uh, <laughs> for us all to unwrap. Not just once, but every day of our lives. Yes. Every day when you get up, Amen. you unwrap. <laughs> Amen. You get to know him more. And you grow more on a daily basis in yes. him. It should be that way. Amen. When you get to know him better, this relationship becomes stronger. Amen. And you're a stronger child of God. Amen. Praise God. I wake up every day. I get up, unwrap another part of that gift of eternal life yes. that God has prepared for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, This Lord. is awesome. Just when I think I have unwrapped all I can, like that last present on Christmas, God surprises us yes. and allows us to unwrap a little more. Amen. Just like that scripture I was telling you about. Yeah. Well, that's a simple scripture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but at the time it meant this to you. Mm -hmm. Now you're mature and it means something else to you. Yeah. And on a daily basis as you mature, that scripture will be illuminated. Yes. And means something else to you. Amen. And as you mature, it means more to you. Amen. Yes. Praise so praise God. God. Thank you, Lord. <sighs> This is awesome. <clears throat> he wants us to grow. It is not a cheap gift, but it was a gift that was of enormous value. God sacrificed His only Son. Yes. 2 Corinthians 9.15 yeah. I thank God for His gift <coughs> that words cannot describe. Mm -hmm. Amen. How do you think as a, as, a, as, a, as a parent, they say they beat him, Hollywood would make it look beautiful. Mm. The Bible says he's unrecognizable. That's right. And still didn't kill him. Mm -hmm. And then after they beat him, and they put a crown on the king, <laughs> big thorns on it, they crucified him. Mm. Still didn't kill him. And then he says, Father, forgive him. Mm. And when he gave himself back mm -hmm. to the Father, it's the only time that he passed that he died. He, he surrendered himself to the Father. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, you want a hero? You want a role model? That's a role model right there. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome. Amen. The greatest gift. <laughs> the shepherds realized the enormous gift they had given, mm -hmm. that had been given. Yes. God gave his best. We must give our best. Luke uh, 2.20 says this. The shepherds went back to their sheep praising and thanking mm -hmm. him for everything they had seen and heard. It was just <coughs> as the angels had told them. Yes. The wise men gave their best. The gold, the frankincense, the myrrh. Mm -hmm. But they couldn't match. That's they couldn't right. give as much as God had given them. <laughs> what gift can compare to never dying, everlasting life, mm -hmm. never suffering, never crying, mm -hmm. never feeling pain, mm -hmm. but to live eternally in a place called paradise? Yes. It is indescribable. Yes, it is. You can't put a price to that. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world That's right. that he gave and sacrificed his only son. And we could have salvation and we could receive him and be. Free. Amen. It is an enormous value. It was the greatest gift ever given and cost more than anything ever could. Mm. And yet it was given to each and every one of us freely. 
-hmm. And it costs nothing. Many times, when we get things that are so precious to us, what do we want to do? We want to hold on to it. We want to hold on to it. He doesn't want us to give this hold on to it. He wants us to give it away. Yes. You go share his word. And you go share and let him know they too can be saved. For God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. That means everyone. Not just some of us. Okay? If we're going to we're gonna be a church, we're not just preaching at, at our little group. Mm -hmm. Us four and no more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to preach, encourage one another, come, come together, mm -hmm. and then go out into our mission fields and let them know. Give them the good news. Amen? Yeah. Give them the good news. Yeah. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank, Thank you, God. Lord. <coughs> hmm. I'll read this one to you. 2 Corinthians 5. And we all know this. 5, 17 through 18. Yes. And it's going to be a, a different translation. When anyone is in Christ, what? Well, he's a whole new, it's a whole new world. Yes. The old things are gone. Suddenly, everything is new. Uh -huh. Leave the past behind. Yeah. Leave your failures behind. Leave your setbacks behind. Leave your mindsets behind. And you know what? <laughs> we got friends that's always reminded us. No. We got the world is always reminding us. <laughs> all we got that. to change partners. Yeah. He's my partner now. He's not going to remind you of all these things. He says, I'll forgive you and I'll forget. Mm. The world doesn't do that. Mm. If you got friends that are still holding it against you, it's time to find new friends. Yes. I told you I asked the Lord to help me with my enemies, and I started losing some friends. <laughs> <laughs> so you if, you, if you if you have to change friends, it's okay. <laughs> the Lord is sending you the right ones. Yes. Amen. So praise God, yes. and they won't hold it against you. Mm. <laughs> the old things are gone. Old things, all things have become new. Mm -hmm. Verse eighteen says. All this is from God. Through Christ, God made peace between himself and us. And God gave us the work of bringing people into peace with him. Yes. Basically, he gave us a ministry of reconciliation. Yes. We go and bring them. Okay? You tell them. You don't judge. <laughs> you just tell them. And you don't clean them. That's right. He does that. That's his job. Yes. He just wants us to be his ambassadors, his, his messengers. Yes. Bring it to the world. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is so good. Yes, he is. Before this gift, there was nothing but doom and gloom. Mm -hmm. Now we don't have to. We don't have to. We don't have to do that anymore. Amen. And in closing. Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> I know many of you can't wait to unwrap your gifts. <laughs> but I want to remind you, to remind us all that the unwrapping of yes. the most precious gift, yes. all of us, is not just to be unwrapped once on Christmas, uh -huh. but a lifetime. As long Amen. as God has you here, we're going to be growing and going with Him, and we're going to be unwrapping mm -hmm. of this gift of mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Amen? So, I just want you to know that. <laughs> Praise God. We must cherish this gift as we take time every day to unwrap our lives in our lives. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. Yes, he is. So, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Y Feliz Navidad to all of you. Amen. Amen. Have a Merry Christmas. Praise, Praise God. God. <laughs> uh, close. So in closing, all of you, those that are you that are listening, those of you that are watching, as I said earlier, if you haven't received him, you can have the merriest Christmas. All you have to yes. do is receive him. Say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. I ask your forgiveness. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life. And you will. Yes, he Only will. thing stopping him right now is you. Yes. But now you've confessed him. And he's coming in. And he's going to change you. And he's going to change you. And you're going to find a church where you can go and hook up with. Amen. And then, so praise, praise God. God. So I pray Lord. all of you to have a safe and Merry Christmas. Yes. Amen. So praise Amen. God. <clears throat>